today uh, we're gonna go do a quick little mission uh, it's for something that it's not gonna happen anytime soon but it's gonna be a benefit for the Honda uh, if you know you know uh, so uh, might as well I wasn't planning on getting it this early but right now that uh, prices keep increasing and supply is starting to become a little shorter I might as well just jump on one um, before uh, they get too expensive so uh, I won't say what it is right now but we'll see when we get there JDM of California. There you guys go. Gotta say it was a long drive to JDM of California. Finally here. I'll go inside. Check it out. It's super hot. Sorry, I think guys, right here at JD in California. I just got the big surprise for the channel and for the which is a 2006 2008 uh, Honda TSX with the RBK24 A2 with the, the RBB3 head. So they washed it, compression tested. It's pretty cool. So now I tied it down, hopefully it lasts. Now it's time to head back to LA. Yeah. Gotta say, uh, the customer service was really good. Do recommend them. It's like a candy store in here. So, yep, here it goes. The case swap for the nugget. thing guys welcome back i'm home now and this is so this is a big purchase for the channel and also for uh my ek honda this is something that's not going to happen right away it take a while to uh basically for this to go inside it um in previous videos um i did pick up a honda accord uh, 2004 i believe um five speed manual transmission that will make with this one with this k series um the reason i went ahead and uh pretty much uh jumped on it right away it's just because with the current state of the market prices are starting to go up uh this one i did get from jdm of california it's uh acura tsx um uh, 2004 to 2005 but he did tell me this particular one is a uh, 06 to uh, 2008 uh, I'm not sure how true it is. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too uh, familiar with it, but it's a reputable shop and it has the R RBB3 head uh, IV tech. So um, this one used to be uh, $7.99 on their website. And as of late, uh, they've been selling out, but also the price has increased to uh, $8.50. So instead of waiting around and just you know procrastinating wondering if i'm when i'm gonna get it i might as well just buy it now that it's still affordable because hmo and burbank already has it for 975 without taxes so i might as well just go ahead jump the gun and just buy it while it's still affordable at least for me um they did uh they did do a compression test so it was 180 psi in all four cylinders um here's the invoice how much i paid with taxes you know uh you know still under a thousand so uh you know so far you know it's just been uh since i got home i pretty much got some uh shop towels and um painters tape and i've been just taping all the ends you know all the open ends just to make sure um you know try to prevent any moisture from getting there 
just because I said the engine will be sitting for a while until I accumulate all the parts for the actual case swap so I pretty much uh, you know covered up the throttle body cooling line cooling line uh, this came free <laughs> Uh, so as you can see they still left the starter in there, which is pretty cool A lot of a lot of places do remove it and sell it to you for extra uh, The engine harness is was cut. So, you know, we won't be using that uh, It does come with uh, you know the accessories no serpentine belt, but when it comes down to um, When it comes down to right here for the alternator, I am gonna have to source out uh, either um, si or crv mount so some of this stuff is going to be uh, not being used um i do we will not be using uh the throttle body on this one which is um electric i do have the 2005 manual cable driven um throttle body for this so we'll be replacing that uh when it comes down to the fuel rail i do have the one off the off the cord off the k24 off the cord off the 05 i'm not sure if i can still use these or not but uh i think this mount needs to go header needs to go but pretty much as you can see guys it says right there rbb3 head i mean uh the engine looks good you know besides being a little crusty down there but so far i mean it looks like it still has all the factory honda bond even down there um it looks pretty fresh it doesn't look uh doesn't look bad VTEC solenoid looks a little a little crusty but it should still be good um overall the, the engine looks clean uh i'm glad i jumped on it when i did a lot of the hoses in there look pretty new too so um most likely uh the plate is probably from an automatic so uh, i know that has not have to go along with the bolts i might have to buy those from the dealer but that's for another day uh so pretty much you can see the engine looks pretty clean um i'm pretty excited does rbb pretty excited to have it you know uh i guess now you know we're committed for the case swap it's not gonna happen anytime soon as of right now the honda has a d16 y7 non vtec uh has a vtec valve cover fake it till you make it but so far this car has 222,000 miles i mean it's running good but recently when i did the oil change i can see some metal shavings a little bit metal shavings that gino brought up on the on the bolt on the drain plug bolt so uh you know i mean it's not it's it's healthy but it might not last forever i was talking to the guy from uh jdm california and even these stock engines are becoming more harder to get and they're becoming more expensive than to than than, than uh, k-series engines so i might as well just uh spend the money and go k-series eventually with this uh there's no turning back now because now i have the engine so uh now We'll see see how it goes but uh i mean highly recommend uh jdm california uh, among out of a lot of importers um it was funny because uh, he has in his office he has pictures of a lot of youtubers that bought it in engines and one of them is dustin williams and and i do follow him i'm wearing a shirt today so pretty cool so uh yeah for your engine needs always go to jdm california on the side note i'm gonna have to replace this um coolant pipe uh, these are typically always damaged during transport so not a big deal i mean i can easily source one at the junkyard too so not a big deal but there you go guys my k24 tsx engine